Okay. So I'm on my way. It is March the 30th, 2021. Um, I am on my way to go get my license, my um, concealed weapon permit renewed. I waited to the last minute, but they didn't send me the paperwork, so now I gotta go up to the DMV. It is raining. So I wanted to talk about um, my blessings. And what I want to talk about is because um, if you haven't known, I had my business, Fantasy Beauty, um, also known as Fantasy Hair and Beauty. I had it since 2018. And um, last year was my, even though it was through COVID and stuff, last year was my um, top selling year. Like, I mean, yeah, top selling year. So... Um, in, in January, I um I started bringing in more than what I did last year for 2021, and in a month, I am almost at my. Mm, I say by another. If I continue the way that I'm going, that it's going now. I say about another three months, I will be at um, making more money than I did last year, and that was my number one. Um, yeah, I'm driving, so I can't get through the house time, but, um, so, since I started my business in 2018, I never had, um, a, I never had where, I had got scammed ever. I see other businesses getting scammed. I see them like people uh, charge, the, you know, the, charge the card and call the card company later to get a refund or whatever. I, I seen a lot of other companies um, get scammed. I have never got scammed, never. And in my whole since 2018, I only had to get one person back their money, um, and that's because the postal service lost their, their package and I was trying to I have like a top uh, customer service so I was trying to go ahead and send her another package but she didn't want to wait so I went ahead and gave her money back but anyway so I never got scammed so let me tell y'all about last week so my husband tells me to start using different platforms to put my products on. That way it reach more people and um, I could get more sales. So I don't want to say Etsy. I think that's how you say it, Etsy. Um, they, so I went and started a business with them. So I had got a sale for like $85. And I have very top customer service skills. So once I get, if I'm able to, once I get an order, I go ahead and package it up and stuff like that. I usually try to wait for like a day in case they, they want to cancel it or they want to add more stuff or whatever the case may be. So I packaged the order. The next day, I shipped it out that morning. That afternoon, I, I log on to Etsy and my account was deactivated. So I'm like, why is my account deactivated? So I kept trying to get on, log on, log on. I can't log on. It's, it, this is a dark area out here. So. Um, I tried to log on. Um, I couldn't log on. So um, I just kind of like left alone that afternoon. Noon, that that morning no it was that afternoon I left it alone well this is after now my package got sent so um so I um But um, so at this after my the package got sent. Okay, it's after.
after the package got sent. So, I didn't really think much of it. I mean, I thought much of it because it was deactivated. But I didn't really think much of it until I got an email from them saying how the buyer wants they refund back. So I need to respond with the tracking number and stuff. Now mind you, the shipping number and everything I got from Etsy. So I'm not confused. First of all, I got I use y'all shipping stuff through y'all. And then so you should have it also. You can look on the account and see it. And it also explained that the package wouldn't be delivered to the 29th or through the 31st. So um, when I got that email, e you know, I got that email, I'm just like, what? Why is they trying to ask for a refund talking about they haven't got their package yet when it takes time? Now, mind you, this is the same day that I, the next day after they put in the order. You ain't received your package. You're not supposed to the next day. Unless you pay for like, you know, quick service. Next day is shipping, but that ain't here. So, anyway, I, um, so I, I send, e try to send the email back replying because now, not only I cannot, not only can I not um, log into my account, but I can't respond to the whole accusation, the whole, you know, email and stuff. So I try to email back. Of course, it's a no reply email. I tried contacting people, I tried sending e um, messages, I tried everything, nothing. So the next day, so that's next day, the next day I was, no, it was that same day, I was really depressed about it. Because I was like, you know, one thing I'm not going to do is scam people out their packages and stuff. I, I wouldn't want it done to me, so I'm not going to do it. So I was really upset. So I told my husband about it and I told my husband that he should give me the $85 because he the one that told me to, get, to make an account with them. And now they done took $85 from me. My husband told me, my husband refused to give me the $85, told me this is a lesson. And now that I know what to look out for and stuff. So I was mad with him the whole day, y'all. Like, the, I was mad with him. Anyway, so the next day, I'm still trying, I, I let it go. No, the next day I let it go. The day after, I get another email, them asking the buyer, did they receive their package yet? Once again, now mind you, it wasn't supposed to be due to the 29th, 30th, 29th through the 31st, which is like the next week. So, they was like, no, I didn't, or whatever. Now, mind you, my package is already chilled, already gone. Um, today is the 30th, so they probably, they already have my package. I couldn't stop it. <clears throat> um, they already had my package, and they took $85 from me. Now, only that, Etsy turns around and charged me $28 in my account. <coughs> So, that's the bad news. The good news is since that day, and I can't remember what day it was. Mm, I want to say it was like the 24th, 25th. Since that day, I've been receiving packages every single day. Not packages, orders, I'm sorry. I've been receiving orders every single day. Um, I have quadrupled the amount of $85 since that day. Well, I mean quadruple. Well, I just say this. Cause I don't like telling all my personal business, but just I say this: I have came in with over five hundred dollars since that day, or more. Um, I say this so that other.
other business owners will know um, what to look out for. Don't be so eager to send that package out that day. Um, I know customer service is everything, but we gotta make sure we get our payments also. We gotta make sure we don't get scammed in the process. And I know it's hard for us to do that sometimes, but I, I took it as a lesson that my business is gonna be bigger than what it is now um, since people want to try to scam me. I don't know, but that's just me. But um, it, was, it was a lesson. It was a lesson learned and um, I was pissed. I'm still pissed. I'm pissed that SC took out SC took out um, $28. Like, what the fuck? I mean, what are you charging? Why are you taking money out of my account for? Um, I, I'm extremely upset. Oh, let me tell you this. Why? When I when I was upset, when they after they contacted the person again and then told them how they're going to issue them a full refund, I called them. And... They was like, they, the lady that I talked to, I was telling her, I said, listen, I was like, I believe I'm getting scammed. I said, because you got to think about it. The person, when I, when I, when they made the purchase, my account was fine. The, even when I print out the label, my account was fine. But the moment that USPS scanned that, that tracking and showing that they package was being, that being accepted by them and stuff. That afternoon, all of a sudden, my, my um, account got deactivated. Then, that same day, they turned around and said they didn't receive their package and want a refund. Come on. Them people, was them, they scammed. And I think SC has stuff to do with it, too. Um, because when I contacted them, everything was fine. I explained to the lady, she's going to help me. She's going to look up the information, blah, blah, blah. Once, once I gave her all my information, she came, she put me on hold, and she came back. She was talking real fast, but I couldn't understand nothing that she said, and then she hung up on me. I sent emails. I have, I sent emails, and I have, um, I did the chat, online chat with them, and the same thing happened. They got all my information. They're going to help me, got all my information. Then she said something real. She typed, you know, I was. She sent me a message. I was reading it, and literally, it's, it was like a long, like two paragraph. I could only read the first sentence, and then it it, it, it closed. It automatically closed. So that lets me know that it's got something to do with it, also. So I do not recommend them if you um trying to get your business out there or your items out there more I do not recommend them at all um, it's not fair to do buyers sellers that way at all um, they can have the item I'm able to buy a lot of more of the item <laughs> so I think this was a test for me um, and I feel like I passed with all my um, new orders that's coming in and stuff. I felt like I feel like I passed. Like I did everything that I could do. I I got upset, as you will, because I'm only human. But um, yeah. I just I just. It's hard. It's hard out here, and I, I don't think it's right to be scammed by a person. I don't think it's right to take somebody items and then don't want to pay them and stuff. I don't, none of that. So, um, business owners, beware. Um, that's it. I just really want to, and I don't usually do these videos at all. I don't really like doing videos as much at all. Um. But I really wanted, I, I really felt like I should do one. 
So I could, everybody could see that the, you look at the glamorous part of them running a business. Oh, they making money, they doing this and this, but you don't, you don't see the behind the scenes of I'm the one that that's that um, putting the package, putting the items together. I'm the one that putting the order together, going to the post office. I'm the one that um, has to deal with people scamming me. I'm the one that has to deal with the vendors. I'm the one that has to deal with all the questions because I I firmly believe I don't care what type of question it could be. I could I could post something and it could have the description all in um all in the post and I still get a question about what's in the post, I will still answer because I just feel like the customer service if it's it's it gotta be one hundred, you know. And if that could lead to one sale, or at least be like, hey, she um, she really do listen, or she responds back, or they, you know what I'm saying? That that means a lot to me. Um, soon, I'll be a multi-millionaire <laughs> business. <laughs> so, um. If I could start out being, you know, customer with good, great customer service and stuff, I'm gonna do that. I really am. So um, this is me being a little transparent. Um, I still have a long way to go, but um, I love my business. My business is my heart. It's my baby. Um, you don't really see me out, see me too much in my business because I try, I, I hate to be, I don't like to be seen. I'm that type of person that likes to do all the backhand work, but don't like to be seen. That's me. That's me. I would do the down dirty work before I really want to be seen. So, um, yeah. So, um, I used to do my videos like these all the time in the car on my way to work and stuff. Um, but now this is my job full time, thanks to my husband. But this is my job full time, and um, I love it. I love it. I don't have no regrets. Um, if you know me from before today, if you knew me, um, I really dreaded being home. I did not ever want to be that housewife or where I'm home all the time. Um, now I love it. I homeschool my two youngest ones and, um, and I run my business. I advertise, I post on social media. Um, if I'm going places, I put out flyers, um, I'm constantly talking about my business if I'm outside, I rarely be outside, but if I'm outside, I, I, I talk about my business, um, this is my life, and I do believe I will be a multi-millionaire pretty soon, I really do, so, that is it. I still have a while to go to, to um, it is raining like crazy and, um, we're not really raining hard, but just drizzling. And I gotta head to, I gotta head to, um, the DMV. So, Till next time.